did not explain. speak to us for the first five minutes. What's your deal? Because I was hoping you would walk away. Right, I was hoping you'd drive away. Because why? Well, I can't. I can't use the dumpster. No, go use someone else's dumpster unless okay. you're gonna pay us so, for when it gets full. Okay, I live here then. Now, no, now, you don't. How, how do you tell me where I live? Because you don't understand. There's not that many places here, and we know almost everyone who lives here. Yeah, I've never seen this truck around. Because you haven't like, seen my truck. No, I, I know you here. don't live here, and I'll bet you a million dollars. And you're lying your butt off, and you're just using our trash dumpster. But whatever. Okay. Karma will get your ass. Okay, so my favorite part of the whole video is the end where she was walking off and she was like, it's okay, karma will come back to bite you, or whatever she said, something about karma, like, karma's gonna come back to get this man for throwing trash away. Let's say he didn't live there. Let's say she was actually correct and he didn't live there. Karma's gonna come back to bite him because he threw his trash away in a dumpster. Yeah, I mean, the thing that, that that see that's a whole another level of entitlement right there. Karma operates based on what you deem to be annoying, not what you necessarily deem to be right or wrong. But oh, this is just annoying. My taxes pay for this. I pay my rent here, and my rent money goes to the trash. You don't live here, so I don't want to pay for your trash. Like so, you do want to pay for everyone else's trash, but this this is just a line too far. Like, man, if you don't go on somewhere, if you don't go find something to do, these people crack me up. It's like they make the biggest deals out of stuff like this. And it's like, but they will call the cops on you for it. You better believe that. I live here, guys. Just please just back away. I don't want to touch you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh-oh. I'm not going to back away. I'm Why are you not going to back away? I live here. I'm taking, no, no. I'm just going to take your picture since you took mine. Uh, He's I, so cute. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. But I live here. What was your name? My name's Carrie Atwood. Okay, Miss Carrie. And I live here, and I'm not paying extra for trash. It's not mine. I live here Come as on, well. Come on, man. I don't have a job and shit. That's all the reason I ask. I live here as well. I'll answer okay, your well, question. Okay, well, then why don't I help you empty that, and you can walk to your house with you? I, why do you need to walk to my house? If you want to help me, please do so. I would love Only it. Only if you tell me which number. No, you go. I'm not in front right now. And then it always kills me because it's like these people who just walk up and invade the privacy of others because they take it upon themselves to be civil police officers. It's like, do you know how much trouble you could get yourself into? Let's say that the person that you walked up on actually was crazy or they were in some type of a violent mood or some type of a violent tirade. And it's like when women do this, it's like, you know, it's like you're going to go up to some guy and, and, and do all of this. And even her neighbor was like, come on, let's go. And she was like, no, I'm not going. I'm not going. And it's like, you know, you're playing a really dangerous game here because not only are you coming up to someone you don't know? But you're also a lady and you don't know this guy, but you're like, I'm not going anywhere. He's not going to put his hands on me because I'm a woman. Like, uh, eh, you don't know that because if he actually was some crazy criminal that you're acting like he was, maybe he will put his hands on you. And then what are you going to say? I, I live here, okay? To answer Which your question. Which one? It's not your business, ma'am. I do live here. If that's, if that's... Which floor? It doesn't matter to you. I don't have to tell you all you're of that. You're lying. If you can't prove it, you're lying. Why Where's your that? mail? Well, it's, is this your wife, sir? No. No, I'm okay. his neighbor. Okay, please take your neighbor, please. Well, I live here. Well, uh, you don't live here. Yes, I do. Buddy. Okay, let me see your card sticker. <laughs> What's wrong with her? Is she okay? Uh, I'm not okay because I don't have a job and I'm not paying for your trash. And then, my, no, the face that she was making the whole time, she was just like, no, you're not. No, you're not. He was like, I live here. And she's like, no, you don't. No, you don't. Like, I got you. Well, tell me, what floor do you live on? What room number are you? Like, and it's like, first and foremost, she's right. It's like, ma'am, I don't have to tell you this. And secondly, it's creepy. It's like, I don't want you knowing exactly where I live. We're not friends. I'm not inviting you over for drinks. I'm not inviting you over to watch the game or whatever it is. Like, we're not pals. You know, like, what are you going to do? Like, spy on that. You're going to call the cops every time you see me. You're going to, like, you know, it's like, ugh. But we've all had at least one neighbor like that in some form or fashion. My first neighbor like that, her name was Miss Gert. And she was in St. Louis. And she would always call the cops on us. We were, like, literally, like, in the third or fourth grade, just playing outside, just having a good time. She used to call the cops. And we would look over, and she'd be peeking out the blind. It's like, ah, oh, Miss Gert. <laughs> Well, we've all had a horrible caring neighbor at least once in our lives, but let's definitely hope that moving forward, we can create maybe some type of a caring database so that we can avoid these types of nasty neighbors.